Basic Helping Verbs in English from EspressoEnglish.net Helping verbs or auxiliary verbs don't have a specific definition. They help the main verb of the sentence. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the basic helping verbs do, be, and have. Use the helping verb do to ask questions. Do you like ice cream? Does Bill have a dog? Did you go to the party? Use do in the present tense with I, you, we, and they. Use does in the present tense with he, she, and it. And use did with all forms in the past. When the question has a question word, you still use do after the question word. For example, where do you live? What time does the bank open? Why did she go home early yesterday? We also use do to form negative statements. I don't like ice cream. Bill doesn't have a dog. We didn't go to the party. Avoid the common error of using no or not as the helping verb. I no like ice cream and I not like ice cream are incorrect. You need to say, I don't like ice cream. Helping verb number two, be. Use be to form continuous tenses with the ing form of the verb. In the present continuous, be takes the form of am, is, and are. For example, I'm studying English. He's talking on the phone. We're having dinner now. In the past, it takes the form of was and were. He was singing in the car while we were driving home from work. And in the future continuous, it takes the form of will be. Tomorrow morning, I'll be teaching an English class. When you ask a question, the word order is different and the helping verb comes before the subject. For example, is he talking on the phone? The helping verb is comes before the subject he. When you make a statement, this order is reversed. He is talking on the phone. Here's another example. Were you having dinner? The helping verb were comes before the subject you in the question form. In the statement, the order is reversed. We were having dinner. Helping verb number three is have. Use have to form perfect tenses. In the present perfect, use have and has. I've finished my homework. She has just left the office. In the past perfect, use had. He said he had bought the tickets. And in the future perfect, use will have. By this time tomorrow, I will have finished this project. The future perfect is not very common in English. Again, when you ask a question, the word order changes. Have you finished the work? I have finished the work. Has she left the office? She has left the office. Had he bought the tickets? He had bought the tickets. If you're ready for something more advanced, go to the bottom of this lesson and click the link for modal helping verbs, where you'll learn how to use can, could, might, would, and other modal verbs. Thanks for watching English Tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it. Thank you.